Hey everybody, this is Chief RBC. Hope you guys are doing well. This is a quick demonstration of how to use cage files inside of Substance. We're going to start within Maya, and I've created several boxes I want you to kind of see here. Okay, the first one that we're looking at is what we call our low res. And the low res has been has a smoothing group applied to it, which you kind of see it gets a little black around the edges and stuff. That's because all the corners are completely smooth. And we have a layout already created on it. We have our, our high resolution box, which has rounded corners. And we're going to try and apply those rounded corners to this low resolution mesh right here. So I'm going to undo what I did right here. And then our last one is called a caged file. Okay, so a caged file is basically a file, or basically it's the low resolution mesh that has been create a little bit higher resolution, or not higher resolution, but it has been created to be a little bigger and it sits outside. So if I hit the number four, you can kind of see that it, it actually resides outside of the entire high resolution mesh right here. And the reason we're going to do that is because we're going to bend the lighting around the corners. One of the biggest problems that you're going to have inside of any normal mapping program is when you come to what we call a 90 degree surface. You hit a 90 degree surface right here and normals have no idea how to bend around a corner and stuff. So we're going to kind of demonstrate this. I'm going to pause and we're going to come right back and I will once we're back we'll see this inside of Substance. Okay, now that we're in Substance, we're going to start by creating a new file. We're going to be using DirectX just because I'm an Unreal person and I love love to make sure that I'm working in DirectX all the time. We're using our regular PBR metallic roughness for this example, and I'm just going to come in here and select the box low. We're going to hit OK, and as we open it up, it's going to be really big. It's going to fill my entire screen. Okay, we have the 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 smooth normals all set on this and everything and the first thing we want to do is come up to edit we're going to bake mess ma mesh maps sorry and i'm going to do it at 2048 just so we can kind of see what's really happening here and we're going to add in our boxed high right there and don't, not going to change anything we're not doing anything fancy this is just so you can kind of see what happens when you don't have a caged file. So the first thing it's going to do is it's... Substance, by the way, does a very great job of hitting those corners and bending to the best of its ability. So if we look at this, not, not bad. It's really not a, a terrible thing. Yet we're still not getting that rounding that we're looking for. As I rotate the light around, you can see that it comes to some sharp edges right here and right in here. Okay, might not come across in video as well as I'm hoping, but you'll see a big difference in this. I want you to kind of look at this as I rotate around. Okay, so the reason we use these um, cage files, I'm going to come back into my bake mesh and I'm going to say use cage and I'm going to grab the cage file. Now, I just for my own purposes, I always put underscore cage just so I know which one it is. There really doesn't require that. You could use a different version of the low, call it whatever you want. Um, but basically what it's going to do is it's going to hunt for that cage file and it's going to use that to bounce lighting around the edges. So take a look at this one final time. We're going to go ahead and bake it with a cage file now. Okay. So now if you look at this, as we rotate the light around it, you can see that we're now getting bending of the edges and now it's mimicking our high resolution much better than it did before. So this is the purpose in using cage files, is if you have a lot of 90 degree surfaces and you're not sure how to get those to work, create a low res cage file that will bend the light around corners and it will help you with those 90 degree surfaces. Hope you enjoyed this. All right, talk to you later.